Hi guys, so this is Nadia from Mama Hearts Polish and I am going to do a really quick um, comparison video of <coughs> the new upcoming um, Gemstone Hollow Stamping Polishes uh, from Moonflower Polish compared to some of the um, similar, two of the similar colors from last year's Fall Hollow collection from Moonflower, Moonflower Polish that uh, colors that be similar. So we have um, new for this year, we have Oro and we have Obsidiana. And as you can see, last year I had corn maze and uh, cozy sweaters. And so, the to show you the difference, uh, starting up with auto and corn maze, this is a gold, it's made with gold pigments, whereas this was made with yellow pigments, uh, yellow mica, and it has uh, micro flakes and gold shimmer, which is um, most of the other polishes in that collection, even though they're hollow, they also had um, micro flakes and gold shimmer. Um, where uh, the hollow in this one is stronger. Um, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it is basically gold pigments and hollow pigments. Whereas, like I said, this one had other stuff added to it, and you can see the differences when I swatch, which I will be doing in a second. And this is Obsidiana, which is a blue-based uh, black and hollow pigment. And you can see the hollow is very strong in this one. And this is Cozy Sweaters, so this is my bottle, which has just been used a lot by my daughter. It's a little messed up. Um, it is actually a gunmetal gray, not really a black. It is very dark, but it is gray and it has gold shimmer. And the, uh, I think it was gold or gunmetal micro flakies, I can't remember. But it has micro flakies in it and a lot of gold shimmer. Which, I don't know if you can see the difference here. And it is gray, whereas this is a blue based black. It is blue based to counteract the graying effect of the uh, hollow pigment. Now I'm going to swatch them. Okay, so now I'm going to um, swatch them and I'm going to uh, stamp and uh, swatch them as regular polish. Ignore this. This is for uh, me testing uh, other colors. So let me move this further up. So this is just the Uber Cheek on one plate. This is um, Oro, which is the first one I'm going to swatch. I'm going to try to use the same image for all of them. So this is a little thinner, which you'll notice compared to Corn Maze. The formula is thinner in order to get the most uh, dramatic hollow effect. So you can see it is gold. And then swatching it here. I'll zoom in. Just gonna swatch it on the mat. That is gold auto. Okay, and now for corn maze. And sorry, my dog is barking. They're cutting the grass outside my apartment. Trying to get this open. So for corn maze, I'm gonna zoom in here. This is the same image. The formula is just a little bit thicker, but honestly, not too much thicker. But this is a yellow. Get that out of the way. This is a yellow. And, sorry, you can see a little bit, I'm going to zoom in. This is the swatch of corn maze, which is, over some colors I felt, it looks, it's more sparkly, um, a little, it's got love flakies in it, um, over some colors it looked a little more greenish. Let me zoom in. Um, that's about as close as I can get. But you can see this is uh, gold or auto on this side. And it is very opaque and more smooth, linear holographic. A slightly more metallic appearance to it. Whereas this was corn maze. It's a different, similar shade. But as uh, you can see the uh, stamping, it's not... The same, I don't know, it's not the same. It's more, gold is a little more opaque. Um, corn maze is, uh, it's a yellow, and it's really hard to make yellows 
um, stamp, but I don't know if you can see here. You can see the flakies in it, and it has gold shimmer. Whereas this is just... holographic. There are no flakies and no shimmer. Just gold pigments and holographic. I'll be back when they're done cutting the grass. So up next would be um, obsidiana. I'm zoomed in too much. You can't really see. So obsidiana is a blue base, blue based black. But you're not really gonna notice the blue much. It's just like an inky black. I'm not putting on a lot of. I still got some gold in there. I forgot to clean my stamper. So there will be a little bit of cold in there. Okay, and now I'm going to swatch it on the mat. I know this is hard to see because it is a black mat. So that's that. And um, now for let me move this here. Um, cozy sweaters from last year. It is more of a gray. Where's my stamper? I'm doing this kind of quickly and messy. So that is a smeared stamp. Not really the best. And then swatching it on paper and then I'm I mean on the mat. And then I'm gonna zoom in. I'll swatch them on a piece of white paper so you can see the difference over white. So now I'm gonna zoom in, but you can see there that is obsidiana and that is cozy sweaters, which is more of a grayish color. Same thing, it has gold shimmer and micro flakes, whereas this is just holographic pigment and black with just a hint of blue. Let me zoom, see if I can. Yeah, this is really as close as I can get with my camera right now. So that is cozy sweaters and they're back with the grass. And here is obsidiana. Okay, this is just a white piece of paper. So this is Cozy Sweaters from last year. And now uh, see that from this year. Open. See? I don't know. Can you see? Okay, so this is Obsidiana, sorry, there we go, Cozy Sweaters, which is here. So, that is the differences, let me see if you can see them, this is how they stamp over white and swatched over white. And those are the differences. So this is Cormay's swatched over white. Really, the other one gets so much later. So that is Cormay's. Think over this white paper. You can see the sparkliness of Cormay's a whole lot more. So much for a quick video. And this is Oro, which I, I don't know if you can appreciate it. At least I can see it in person. This is one of those things where I feel like I always struggle. To show these things on camera, 
I have an, um, a Nikon point and shoot, but it's not like a, you know, DSLR, super fancy, high definition camera with like an amazing macro lens where I can like show you these amazing gorgeous details. So I'm trying my best. And there is auto. I don't know if you can see the, well you can see the sparkles in the micro flakes that uh, Core Mace has compared to Auto, which does not have any of that. It's more metallic feel. Um, all of these gemstones will have a slightly more metallic feel. So that is a comparison for those two. Those are really the only ones that are um, similar uh, from currently. There'll be other colors. There'll be a red and there'll be an orange and there'll be a green um, that are similar. And so I might be able to, I'll compare those in the future. Uh, when I do the part two of the gemstones, which I, at this point, I honestly don't know if it'll be, I'll have time in December, or if it will be a, uh, January release, um, I do have something else for February planned, a uh, Valentine's kind of anniversary duo that's planned. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's it, so remember these will be available, the gemstones will be available on next Friday, not this Friday, the next one, the 12th at 12 p.m. noon eastern um, on uh, moonflowerpolish.com and these are once again these are the colors um, I'm not let me zoom in to I'm not going to do a comparison to silver I mean I can show it to you on camera but it's just the other silver is a silver metallic here it's not holographic in any way whatsoever it's a little lighter and it has platinum micro flakes so it's more like a platinum feel, feel, uh, feel, uh-huh, uh, English fail, English is not my first language, Spanish is, in case you didn't know, um, so here is, uh, Diamante, which is hollow and this isn't, so that's why I'm not comparing them, I'm just comparing the ones that were hollow, and same with the, um, with the teals and the purples, I do have purples, but none of them were holographic purples, I've done holographic no, I haven't. I, I did a teal... No, not, not not really. I have a couple of... I have a lot of teals. Like, this is closer to, um... Maybe my Caribe. But this is holographic and this isn't. And this is slightly more greenish. And this is more like a, like an aqua blue. I mean, this is supposed to be um, aqua too. Um, the other ones are cream or, or basic shimmers. So they, they don't compare. And anything else is like a limited edition. This is a dark holographic uh, teal that I did as a limited edition for funds for uh, Hurricane Maria for uh, Puerto Rico. Um, so that's different, obviously, but this was a limited edition, so it's, it's slightly darker. And uh, same thing with this over here. This is has some hollow in it, but it also has flakies, and it was a limited edition for a fundraiser. So very few people have that. Um... And purples, let me grab some purples, I've got, uh, so this was a uh, mariposa, which is slightly duochrome kind of like a silver purple, um, could shift to it, so it's, it is holographic, but it is very different, um, in terms of the base color. The other purples that it might be similar are, uh, so, this is orchidea, but it's, also, it looks diff much bluer on camera, it, and it's, that's different, and then Violeta, so Violeta and this, this is sort of like, think of it like the holographic version of Violeta, if you want to think of it that way, but I don't have any other hollows to compare this to, so that's, that's really it, so, um, that's kind of it, yeah, so thank you for watching, bye.